Hi guys, Hedia here, and today I want to do a quick video on the PS command. Uh, let me just pull that up. Man PS, which is a program that allows us to select and manage active processes in our system. And if you're wondering what a process is, a process is an execution instance of a program carried out on the operating system. So what does that mean? Well, let's just say if I want to see the current programs running on my system in the background right now. I'll do that by tapping in PS. And in this case, it only shows me bash, the bash command and the PS command itself running because it's only showing me for the current terminal, the current terminal that I'm running, which commands are running on the current terminal. Now if I want to view it for my system, like every command running on my system, just type in PS dash capital A and it shows you all the programs running in the background which starts from 1 being PID1 system D and goes all the way down to well PS the most recent command and of course open broadcast software with FFmpeg right before it. Now there's a various amount of switches for the PS command the most common would be the dash A switch so PS dash A and this will show you all the processes running on your system but let's let's add some complexity to that so let me just clear this now if you want to see all processes associated with the terminal only just type in PS dash A lowercase a and it'll only show you what processes are launched by this terminal and in this terminal I only launched the PS command itself right here so it'll only show you me the PS command now let's see if you want to view all the processes running on the system except session leaders. Now what a session leader is, is a process that commands other processes. So if you want to view only the session leaders, type in ps-a-n and this shows you all the commands that are the session leaders for other commands such as systemd which allows other commands to run. But if you want to view everything except those, type in ps-d and these are all the commands that are not session leaders such as kthread and systemd isn't here because systemd is a system leader not system leader um session leader i tend to get those screwed up but yeah um i only have a command called none i think that might be an error i'll have to research that later anyways moving on if you want to see all the running processes type in ps-r and by that is all the processes running from the terminal again so it's just another way of typing in PSA and if you want all the processes actually no let me just move on now you can search for certain processes that are running so let me just type in PS-A again just so I have a list to work with and as you can see up here we have the PID ID the process ID number the TTY shows which terminal it's running from. A lot of background commands will have a question mark instead of a correct number. Some have TTY1 and TTY7. So they have a specific TTY identifiers, but most of them there won't be anything. Uh, time is the amount of time it took for the process to run. So for most of these it's gonna be zero. And then the command itself. So what command is running? So, if you want a more com comprehensive list, you can type in, you can find that by typing in the dash f command. And ps is just running ps, so it shows what's running from my terminal, but dash f will give us a more ex detailed outlook, output. So now it has the ppid, which is the parent process id. So it's the session leader for this process, which is bash. It has the C category, which is the CPU utilization process. So it's re requiring very little CPU time. I don't know what CC does. Um, RSS, I don't need to search that. S time is the time it was started. Time is the time it took to start. And then command and TTY, I already went over those. Anyways. Okay, let me just bring PS-A back. 
Now, if you want to find all the processes associated to a certain command, for example, Chromium, you can do that by typing the dash C switch, PS dash C, and then the name of the command. And this shows all the process IDs associated with the Chromium program that are running right now. I can do the same for OBS, so PS dash C OBS and it's just OBS so I guess it has to be the same name because OBS dash FFmpeg would be different. Well, let me try that right now. OBS dash FFmpeg dash mux and huh. Oh that's weird. Well ignoring that. We can find certain commands by their groups. So PS dash G for group and if I want to see all the commands that were launched from the root this shows me all the commands that are grouped under the root group such as system D and CPU HP and various other programs that are just in these are background programs most of these other than system D and network manager like most of the light DM is a pretty important one, so is Zorg, but most of these like you you probably wouldn't know what they do unless you look them up. You can search for a command by its process ID, so PS dash P and then one just brings up system D because it was the process ID number one. So the dash P is the switch to search by process ID. If you want to search for multiple processes by their process ID, Type in IP 1, 125, 135, and it brings up each command for uh, 135, 125, and then one itself. Just as an example. And let's see, what else can you do? I mean, you can also search by session ID. So PS s, and I'll just say 1. System D again, PS S 135. That one is not a session leader, so it showed up nothing. So basically, if a, the PID ID is a session leader and you type in with the dash S, it'll show up. And yeah, you can also just type in a PS A F or even lowercase f. And it shows you all the commands running on your system, but this time with a much more uh, detailed list. Lowercase f will not show RSS or SC or any of these other outputs I wasn't familiar with. The ones that I am familiar with are the lowercase f, UID, so who launched it, uh, the PID, the process ID number, the parent process ID number, so 1 and 2 have no parent, but RCUGP has a parent. ID of 2 so kthreaded is a dependency for this process to run. The CPU utilization which is 0, the start time, the terminal, the time to run and then the name of the command. And let's just say that you want to kill a program. So for that uh, let me start a program. Let's type in vim. So now we have vim install, vim running, not install, running. But in a separate terminal, let me just type in ps vim ps a. And yes, we can see vim has the process ID 10129. Here it is, vim. So to kill it, just so you can see it. We can kill it by its process ID number, so kill 10129. And if you go back to the other terminal, Vim is finished. It's killed. Because we terminated Vim from the term from the process ID. And let's see, there's a bunch more you can do. Oh yeah, uh, you can also run processes in the background or foreground. So let me just show you. Just typing in PS, I have bash and PS right now. Let's say I want to run a Vim in the background. To run that, 
or just any program what you would do is type in the program's name and then the and symbol so in this case to run vim in the background vim and and now it shows me the pid id for vim and it's the first job running in the background so if i type in ps you can see vim is there but it's also say vim it says vim is stopped because it's running in the background if i type in the jobs command it only shows me the background jobs and in this case it's vim and it's also in a stop state if I type in ps again it's still there so let's kill it kill 10 2 3 5 and then if I type in jobs now still dead now let me bring it to the foreground to bring it to the foreground type in fg and the pit id and it says there's no such job because it's killed fg vim yeah, Vim is finished, it was terminated. So that worked. Let me try bringing it in the foreground if it's on, like before it stopped. So Vim ampersand and then FG 10 to 999. FG Vim. Okay, bringing it in the foreground works. And then I guess I can just exit out of it by tapping in colon Q. And then if I look for the process ID, it's gone. The jobs, it, it's gone. Because when you close out of Vim, it just closes the process entirely. Or if you want to bring a process ring in the background to the foreground, type in the FG command. And oh yeah, there is a way to resume a stopped command and that's running in the background. So if I type in Vim, run into the background and then type in jobs. It says Vim is stopped, but if I type in BG and 10337, really? Alright, let me just type in Vim. BG Vim. FG Vim. Okay, so it's still there in the background. I guess Vim's just a. Uh, hard one to run but in any case that's the uh, PS command in a nutshell I'm not gonna go too much into it but yeah that's all it is all that I really want to go over anyways I hope you guys have a good one and I'll catch you in the next video peace out